Today we want to look at fixing an analog robot. Now the analog robots, that basically just means they're tin toys. And unlike the digital creations of today, they do everything they do based on gears and, and uh, maybe sometimes there's batteries and motors, but even so it doesn't use uh, digital tracking or anything like that. They're just analog toys. In this particular case, uh, first I showed a robot that I have that is working correctly. And now we're going to take a look at a robot that has some problems. Specifically, when you put the batteries in and start it up, the door for where the laser guns are contained for the tin toy don't function correctly. Uh, I think I got the batteries in wrong the first time so there's always a chance to change that. So I've repaired quite a few of these tin toys in my time and the thing to do is to watch for the joints and where the tabs are that fasten things together. So you want to make sure that you don't try and take apart any more than you need to. In this particular case, if we just take the head off, we can reach the pieces that we need. Sometimes some of the joints are a little bit tight and they need to be persuaded in order to open. But you can see inside there's no computer. There's still some wires because this is battery operated, but it's a simple motor and gear to put, make it all work. In this case, it's just a matter of fastening the spring for one of the doors back into the right place. 